Hello, and thank you for visiting Coastal Custom Wine Cellars. I'm going to take you on a tour of a small project we recently completed in Southern California, and then we'll take a look at the design package for this particular project as well. This is a closet that was situated underneath the stairway. As you enter, that was certainly tall enough to, to walk into and maneuver about for about four feet, and then it rapidly descended to about uh, a, four, a five foot height and took a right in another three feet. So limited on size because the back wall here is an exterior wall, it made the refrigeration method quite easy to select as well as to install. So let's take a look at the drawings and then we'll come back to some of the completed pictures. This is an overhead view of the wine room. The entry is up here in the top left and the walls are labeled A, B, C, and D. All the perimeter dimensions are posted and in the top right of every page, in this particular page, you get the total capacity of 404 bottles. Not a lot of room to enter the area, so this Elevation A, we utilized a six inch deep component that will lay the bottle sideways. We'll take a look at that in a moment, but they're label forward horizontal displays and versus a 13 and a half inch deep rack, which it certainly allowed for more room to maneuver in the, the wine room and certainly didn't impede the entry. Elevation A was label forward horizontal displays. They stair stepped down to allow for the change in height of the ceiling because of the stair. The side elevation shows the depth of the wine racks and we've got the height, of course, at its highest point. Elevation B is the back wall across from the entry. It's the exterior wall I mentioned. And we've got a series of some X bins for bulk storage below. A little bit of single bottle storage above that before we hit a display row. This is called a high reveal display row. And as you'll see here from the side view, it's pitched at a 15 degree angle. So uh, the, the liquid's still in contact with the cork. You've got a beautiful way to display the wines, lending some character to the area. It's a good management tool because you can place like wines above and below the display row. Nestled back deep in the, in the wine cellar is, the, is uh, the end wall. We actually placed the cooling unit. The reason this is a bit shorter than the other racks is because we placed the cooling unit right above here, which you'll see in some of the photographs. This small rack made a transition from the back wall to the right side wall. And then as we come back towards the entry, we've got some bin storage, open bins for bulk, and some more single bottle storage. These are 3D visuals of the area. As you can see the entry and how it kind of made that L-shaped back to the rear portion here. It turned out nice. I think you'll agree when you take a look at some of these photos. This wine cellar was created in a Philippine mahogany and we put what's called our Chapo stain on it with a clear lacquer finish to give it a little bit of a luster. This is the entry, obviously after. We had an artist come in and do some fall painting. The theme was to a grapevine. And uh, certainly if you live in Southern California, specifically Los Angeles and Orange County, we can make her services available to you as well. You see a little bit of that fall painting here on the slope ceiling. That's the left side as you enter. The back wall with the X cubes. We also utilized um, Oak Barrel Series flooring. This is, these are random lengths of tongue and groove style boards. Uh, they actually have some stampings or brandings from the, uh, the cooperage or the top of the barrel. Here's how the display row, isn't that beautiful with the LED lighting? Uh, by the way, it was on a separate switch with a dimmer so we could control the mood. A little close up picture of some of the cooperage flooring in our base molding, a close up of the LED lights. And um, we had a little patching to do here, but indeed that was remedied. This is a Whisper Cool Platinum Mini Split, and it easily kept the room at 55 to 57 degrees, minimal noise. Matter of fact, I don't think you would hear the noise anywhere but inside the wine cellar, I should say. You won't hear it outside of the wine room. Uh, there's me after a couple of glasses of wine, it appears. Cheers.